All right. Um, C Mac, man. We talked about him. Freedom Mac. We talked about him getting arrested last year. There was a lot of talk that he got caught with a gun with a switch. And if that was the case, bro was looking at like 10 years, 8 years, 12 years, 13 years. But it turns out that he wasn't looking at that those charges. I, I interviewed, um, well, I didn't interview. Actually, I did a podcast with my co-host, Sporty Face, and um, uh, ODM Slam Sunday. And I asked him on there what was the max that he was facing. And he said 33 months. So it's quite ironic that, so they did, they still gave him the max because the clip should be um, coming out soon. We're waiting for it to drop. But I just asked him prior to him going to court on Monday, yesterday, on Sunday, so what's the most that he's facing? Because he told him he was going to court tomorrow. And he told us ahead of time that it was 33 months. Yeah, I think I, I did hear that. Hey, hey, we are we all familiar with the term uh jailhouse Johnny Cochran's. Mm -hmm. Everybody be thinking they know the law and all this little shit, right? Mm -hmm. But then I'm thinking he was stuck for a longer time until we uh was talking to Megan Blanco. Did I say it right? Yep. Shout out Megan Blanco. And, and and you had you could pl probably plug this uh this clip in, but you had asked her, you switched lanes from Boosie to him about his situation, and she said there is no minimum. But they they try to run you up though, mm -hmm. so it ain't no because you know a lot of cases in the feds got minimums like a minimum ten years da, 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 this and that. She said on that uh, episode, minimum, yeah. There's no mandatory minimum for what he in jail for. What do you think or believe that he's in jail for? Because it's re largely reported. I think you mentioned ghost gun. Ghost gun. That's what I believe. Um, the conviction, according to Odie and Slim, who I consider my expert source of information related to C Mac. Mm -hmm. Not only was he charged with, but found guilty of being in possession of ammunition, not an actual weapon. Well, let me read the article because believe it or not, his arrest, his sentencing, his felony conviction landed him on Fox 11 News. That's how you know you viral, print, bro. Print edition. Print edition. He so, way nation. So C-Mac made Fox 11 News. Let me read this article. It says here, a South Los Angeles rapper whose YouTube videos have racked up millions of views hmm. was sentenced Monday to nearly three years behind bars after pleading guilty to a federal charge. Trevor Heard, 31 years old, known by his stage name Crip Mac, was sentenced to two years and nine months in federal prison. Heard pleaded guilty in downtown L.A. in April to one count of being a felon in possession of ammunition. Mm. One count of am that's still a lot. You got an odium slam. Yeah, one count of ammunition. He was arrested in December in state court by US Marshals moments after LA County judge agreed to drop the gun charges so federal prosecutors could take the case. The indictment states that Heard was found in September in possession of a handgun bearing no serial number, commonly known as ghost guns, and ten rounds of ammunition. So does that mean they dropped the gun and he pled to a lesser because he's only it's only ammunition in the end? So it is partial. It is true that mm -hmm. he was found with a gun with no serial number. But that's not what his he's actually penalized for. They, no. they probably broke out a deal where they so dropped the gun. Charge. Yeah. Lesser charge. According to the document, Hurd has been arrested on felony charges five times since 2014 and convicted once. The charges include two arrests for being felon in possession of firearm. Attempted second degree armed robbery, grand theft, and transportation of a controlled substance. I found it interesting, ODM Slam reported that in stipulations upon him receiving this deal is that upon his release, he is not allowed to um, make money off of hollering five five crip and things of this nature any longer. I guess those are the probation <sighs> conditions. No gang no gang activity. That's deep. That's easy though, wordplay. You know how we do. I think it's going to be a, a opportunity for him to display, um, and I don't want to hatch anything that was negative in conversation, but me and the homies have been trying to discuss uh, what we believe that uh, Crip Mac represents to Munchie, display which is, is more than that was obvious. And I think he's going to be challenged to be able to display that now. He's a father too, so that might give him a good path of virality. Just imagine, a Crip Mac had a, a child while he was gone, and the baby's only two or three, he gets to come home and start off a whole journey. There you go, Crip Mac. Do you know if he got a daughter or a son? Daughter, a baby girl. So it's Crip Mac catching up and keeping up with little baby girl. You're gonna be viral immediately. Just make it about you and your daughter, Lo. And I Funny. I just heard Munchie talking to the homie from A-Tray Gangster. Shout out Tiny Minutes. Who did uh, 
who did a dime in the feds. Right. And he said that Crip Max outlook on life and gang banging might be a whole lot different after experiencing the way black unity, mm -hmm. LA black unity exists in the feds. You know Crip Max does not classify himself as black. He identifies with the Usos first. Yeah, but he's 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 cripping. I want to add that into the conversation because I don't think you guys are aware of that. But even the um the Usos that bang Park Village or Carson or Long Beach, they go to prison with blacks. A lot of them turn Uso hey. and get tribal bands over their gang banging tattoos when right. they get to prison too, because that's the program that dominates in prison. That's so they go with the others. The majority. Okay. Yeah, not that that right there. That was always a head scratcher to me. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, Krimak then been to the penitentiary and just crept it through, and he didn't go with the Usos at that time. You know what I'm saying? So, so you, yeah, he may stick. He may. St Matter of fact, I would rather. I would probably bet that he'll stick and stay. But I don't think he realizes that he's choosing to stay black because if you listen to some of his viral conversation when it comes to it, I think he he's proud to bang Polynesian. So he's gonna have to make a decision. The Usos. I don't, I, I don't know if the. Uh, the Polynesian card is even large in the federal system. Oh, so it might not even translate the same. Yeah, you know, I like in the. So do you think pen. that tattoo? Everybody from Hoover in the federal system is going to look at the tattoo like non consequential. Hey, nah. Munchie, you should address that because you just talked with uh, Tiny Menace about that. Right, I didn't even know that. Yeah. See, see, see. So what I asked Tiny Menace because uh, I was privy because I seen G Face interview and he said he looked at things different because when you go to the feds, it's just crip. It ain't the gangster car, it ain't neighborhood, it ain't hubbing a dub. And you know, it's just it's just crip. So, and I asked Tiny Minutes, is that some of the reason why you felt the way you felt when you came home and you made the viral video you made? And then I went on to Crip Mac, I said, based on this tattoo he got, how you think things will go with him during this federal time? And he think, and he think it's, go, it's gonna be cool. It, it, you know what I'm saying? And he said he think he'll come home a little sharper because definitely the feds because because you know tony minutes has been on all all levels he said the feds is like different and you you get a different type of schooling going there yeah the on criminals the in the feds typically have a reputation of being experts at beating the system in the county i mean in the in the, in the um, actual state system you find criminals who weren't usually that successful at beating the system but the, in the feds you find the guys that were successful and the feds finally caught up to them typically so you have a large community of people who are not what we consider um, on the same intelligence level that populates state prison. But like he said, in the feds is all 50 states. You know what I'm saying? California mm. is only, it's this 30, these 32 prisons and you know, and it's, it's how our politics out here. Mm. So based on this all 50 states, you know, California will stick with California, especially if you're from LA. And then if you crip and it's real, like it's crip unity, you know what I'm saying? And he, he said when he walked through the door in the feds after getting his time, he, he did 10 years off 13, he said, where you from? He said, A-Trey Gang. He said, oh, you a homie. And then he breaks like, oh, where you from? He said, I'm from 1180s Coast. And he was he was shocked, like, homie, because he yeah. used to the county jail politics, et cetera. So Craig Mack going to run into a lot of that. And he think his, his, his uh, what you want to call it, that he going to come on a little sharper if he embrace the uh, – he, so you, he won't be the only one with whackouts and whackouts on the forehead to the internet so brazen seems so crazy but in the reality of our world that's just part of what you will bump into Them, but his is pronounced i'm just saying the more it, pronounced the more disrespect it indeed. gives off right indeed mm, but. i mean but just reading it, it's more profound because it's spelled all out but you know like x folk got it Abbreviated on this, it's a lot of those tattoos. So let me ask you this: Which is more disrespectful, the HK that X Fo has on his cheek, or the Hoover killer on the that, forehead? That What's more irritating, looking at it? The, the, <laughs> it the felt out. The one like, that's more disrespectful is Crip Man because of his popularity. No, I think because it's spelled out. It's like it's, it's more in your face if you're right. if you're an enemy to 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 Crip Mag. But to those, so it's more triggering not to, to the, the rival, not right? To the Hoovers. No, it's more triggering to a rival. Well, yeah, to the no to the out like to the outsiders. Yeah, the spared out looks like worse, but to a Hoover, it's the same exact thing, bro. Well, see, we know what you mean. We know what you're saying, and it's on your face. Like our our county jail level, uh, you come in here, where you from? Oh, I'm from X, Y, and Z, and you turn down you turn down the fade. 
a person might not let you turn it down. You know why? Because you got hood whack outs. I don't care if it's an abbreviation spelled out. It's mandatory. You got to get them. You know what I'm saying? But I think his shit just a little bit more bolder because so, it's like. So tell me this. It was a conversation I had with four extras on camera recently. And mm -hmm. he was talking about, okay, we ain't going to let you turn down a fade if you say you're not an affiliate, but your crime is just from over there. So that reminded me of a similar politic. Do it seem like he's stretching the politics a little too far or does that fall under the same line? Like it's certain things we gonna see in you that's gonna cause us to apply this program to you. We ain't gonna let you say we ain't with it. Hey, the way he delivered that, it, it just it just received wrong. Cause you know, he yelled when he talked and it's like, there ain't nobody gonna receive what he's saying, saying right. The fact that he tend to have claimed to go through with this with someone from Inglewood, did that tend to shade or form your reaction no nah, no 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 because i said what he said in the past but how he said it, it just it just it just don't resonate i understand you know what you're saying? saying and i think similar to crip mac that aggressiveness is what's causing him to be uh no not the aggressiveness or whatever you want to describe the word the abrasiveness the shockiness his energy it's marketable and i think he just he gonna grow with it but i just, I, that just it, you brought it just brought that thought to my mind. I didn't mean to take you off your thought, Alex. Well, I, would, I just want to say that of these 33 months, Crip Mac has to do 85 percent. 85 percent of that is 28 months. He already has a year credit. So if you calculate 85 percent of 33 mm -hmm. with one year credit, January 2025 looks like his release date. But they give you halfway house like six months to nine months before your release date. So sometime in 20. Uh, I'm sorry, I should have said 2026. But 2020, oh, January, I'm about to say January 2026. Because 25 is like yeah. next month. Yeah, 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 yeah. January 2026. So sometime in 2025, Crip Mac could actually be released and sent to a halfway house. Hey, and I hate to plug this in because I'm 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 uh, I'm I'm completely against Trump. But you know, Tony Menace, he said Trump did some things in office that 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 uh, helps the federal image. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And, and I forget exactly what he said. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gonna see when it come out on Richard Hart, but he, he, he feel he gonna do like a year, then he gonna go halfway house, and then go get some home confinement with the ankle monitor. Like he gonna be out in like probably a year. That's what he feel. Yeah, that's about right. Cause uh, 2020, he he could easily get halfway house, maybe in yeah, he'll get halfway house some point in at the end of 2025, which is next year. I um I, I watched I think Odie, uh, Odium Slim stated that halfway house is definitely in the cards. And I'm sure they even have some um some ways to to get to the halfway house even faster. Um uh, the Fed custody started from December, not September. So um I got March of twenty twenty six as his release official release date, but he will probably get his his uh, halfway house uh, some point in the mid of 2025, which is just basically a year away. So that it, it's 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 gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Crip Mac, hey, it don't always turn out this sweet, homie. This, hey, you gotta hey, let's let's roll when you get out, bro. You gotta go square, go business, go professional, duck off from that bullshit, brother. But he he can definitely jump right back in to where he left off. I don't know if he will tap back in with China Mac, but he somebody already saw the blueprint. And it it's, should be waiting for Crip Mac when he gets when he gets released from prison. That is willing to put that same effort in that Crip Mac did because Crip Mac is I don't know traveling the world right now. No, no China. China Mac. I'm sorry, China Mac. My bad. China Mac. Crip Mac. Yeah. I'm raising my hand for the opportunity to say you think, first. You think you could step up to what China Mac was doing, Spider? So That's a lot of work. China doing. Mac was doing a the good homie job. Scrap Cliche Nine Three TV. We do have something in position that we could perhaps facilitate that. Okay. Yeah. Um, if, I'll add us, Crip Mac. Yeah, you got the resources of um of the homeboy over there and. In the valley, yes, sir. And you, but it is a lot of work. Uh, Cliche Nine Three TV. Get, that's the that's we gonna refer to him. That's his platform. Cliche Nine Three TV. Hey, what well, we we could say for a later day, but I I don't know what the uh the the hoorah is about China Mac and people like uh opposing him. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. from what I witness, he did good things for him, and then when he started dealing with China Mac, he excelled. So I like the, the the people that that. I, I see on the internet everybody like opposing them. I don't, I don't see where the energy come from, but I'm not on the inside. Yeah, I, we, I, we could say for another day, then we could dig into that because I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if China Mac just did these calculations and said, you know what, I'm gonna be right there in 2025 waiting for him. So I, I wouldn't be surprised 
because they had a they had a nice everything they did went viral. It was crazy. Yeah. Without paint, my first my son, my junior, he was his first year in college. His first job was given to him by the Korean man at the corner at the mini mart. So hey, we like to paint it in a negative, but when someone outside of the culture sees potential and then they invest pre-profit and they're not looking for nothing other than a fair exchange, we have to find someone to appreciate that too when we consider ourselves disenfranchised and treated wrong by so many as well.